Hey everybody, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. This message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Leo. This is your life and love energy for November 2022. And this is going to be a month for you, Leo, that is going to be inspiring, uplifting. It's going to be much like a twist, and there's going to be a lot of surprises and a lot of hidden rewards, okay? Now, this is for the Leo man and the Leo woman, okay? This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Leo. Guys, I highly recommend you double check your birth chart just to be sure and get clarity because this is a general reading. It's always good to double check your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus just to be on the safe side. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. So we start this off with, you know, me looking at your cards and I'm just like, okay, obviously there's going to be a need for spiritual or spiritual awakening. But this is also going to be a time of enlightenment for you as well. You have the Queen of Wands, you have the Wise Council, and you know you also have the Three of um, Earth, which in traditional tarot deck that is the Three of Pentacles. And so to me, the Three of Pentacles definitely represent a sense of freedom, like a sense of rewards, a sense of moving ahead, a sense of promotion maybe, um, just even getting further ahead, especially when it comes to your career. And this has nothing to do with your career. Maybe you're not even working. Maybe you're not even employed. You've been looking for a new job or a new career. Maybe you're relocating to start a new job. Whatever this is, this says newness. This says a sense of renewal. This is a new beginning. This is hard work. This is recognition for high quality of work, okay? Especially when it comes to your creativity. So if this is not an actual job, then this can definitely be tied to something else that you adore, something you love, your personal business, your creativity endeavors, and um, so much more, okay? Um, I recommend, because you also got the Wise Counselor card here as well, which in traditional tarot deck, I believe this is like the unity card, you know, it's very similar to me. So you may want to kind of connect with people within your community or get um, some type of, I guess, just assistance, you know, or guidance from people within your community or like-minded individuals, okay? Because when I look at the wise counselor, um, card here, it says unity with a spiritually minded community. So this is definitely being spiritually grounded. This doesn't even have to be, it could be your pastor, you know, someone in your church or um, someone at the um, kingdom hall, something of that nature, okay? Something like a, some, like a spiritual guide. This could be a tarot reader. This can be someone that can help you perform a new ritual to help you um, build and to build on this new legacy, you know, you're on a new path, you're upon this new journey, you're coming into yourself. And the best thing that you could do is to have like-minded individuals with you, working with you, helping you, surrounding you, pushing you to be your best self. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what I feel like you need. And so on top of that, though, Leo, you also got the Queen of Wands. To me, that is so much your energy. Okay, like I said, the month of November come with a lot of hidden blessings, a lot of hidden rewards for you, but you have to be spiritually grounded. This is a time where you're going to be feeling like you want to be closer to your friends and family. However, the first two weeks of November may be a bit confusing. There could be minor headaches or heartaches or um just difficulty trying to get along, maybe even just some minor misunderstandings. But the reality is you're going to quickly realize that is not as serious as you thought. So try your best not to spend too much time on a situation um, or fighting about a situation that really don't even deserve your energy. Like it really may not even be b that big of a problem. Um, maybe someone has hurt your feelings and they didn't even know that they hurt your feelings. Um, okay. Or maybe you have done this to someone and maybe you'll be shocked that they even bring this up. Like, what are you talking about? Right. Um, the thing here is just simple communication. Right. 
And the first two weeks of that is going to be challenging in the first two weeks of November. However, it does not mean that you still cannot elevate. It doesn't mean that you still can't grow. There's going to be so many changes and a lot of twists and turns, especially going towards the end of November, because you will crave um, those strong family ties and, and that bond. You will desire to be closer, to have more fun. You will be making phone calls, wanting to reach out. Um, wanting to have long, good conversations, um, maybe even traveling here, okay? Um, so it looks really strong, you know? Um, and speaking of relationships, let's talk about love because love to me is even stronger. So it's like your career is doing one thing, but your personal life is doing something else. And I think that um, there's a need for balance here, okay? A strong need for balance, now, it's, I see here new love, of course, but I want you to know, because we also have the attraction card, and obviously, Leo, we are what we attract. We are what we put out there, even when it comes to love, you know? So if we are negative and toxic and we're putting out bad energy, definitely that's what we're going to get back. However, if we're being considerate, we're being honest, we're being compassionate, empathetic, all those things can definitely be returned to us seven times fold. Okay, but here the universe is letting you know, especially the Venus, the goddess of love, is letting you know you will attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So what that says to me is live in the present. You know, don't focus so much on the past. No matter what you and your person were fussing about or whatever your disagreements were about, um, you guys can move past this. But the idea here is not to stay focused so much on the past, not to keep bringing up the past, not to keep um, hurting each other with um, strong, tense words that can really bring a person down. Be careful the things that you yell out. Be careful about the things that you blurt out. Um, of course, you want to be honest, but just be careful not to um, hurt someone's feelings. And even if you're not sure if you if you did, try to pay attention because people always show you. You know, they may not always tell you how they feel, but people show you who they are. People show you what they feel just simply by how they treat you. You know, so I think it's so important to just observe the energy around you, especially when it comes to love. I also see here that you do deserve love. I mean, hello, it's almost impossible to like be around a Leo and not feel the love, right? Like how can you literally walk into a room and be depressed being around a Leo? Like they literally are so transparent and so beautiful and so funny. Um, they have an, a very beautiful uh, sense of humor, depending on how sensitive you are or not, right? Being around a Leo can be very inspiring. It can actually brighten up your day, especially for my cross watchers out there who are or could be desiring to date a Leo. You are in for a treat because they can make very funny, loving uh, partners, but they also can be very loyal as well. Okay. And so, Leo, the thing here is to remember that you do deserve love. No matter what you have gone through, um, no matter how many challenges you have to face. There's not a thing that says, you know, what I did to you in the past, I don't deserve to be happy again. Yeah, you do. You know, you got to forgive yourself. And um, if you feel like you might could try to work it out with this person and work it out. But if you really feel in your heart of heart, after having a heart to heart conversation, you really feel in your heart like this cannot go on. Um, that you feel like you cannot make it with this person, then don't waste any more of your time. This is a season for you to be honest about what you desire, to be honest with yourself spiritually. Is this relationship helping you grow spiritually? Is this relationship helping you grow mentally? Is it helping you grow emotionally? How are you feeling? When you wake up in the morning, do you roll your eyes? Are you upset? Are you angry? the feelings that you have been feeling, are they really towards this person or is this something that's been pent up, pent up emotions from like eons ago? Is it like from six months ago, a year ago, eight years ago? Like, where is this attitude coming from? Or is this something that you really um, are still harboring? 
are you still harboring old feelings? Is this something that you need to forgive and let go of? Or is it something that you are just bitter about about something else? What is truly bothering you, right? This is a time for you to sit back and reflect on what you really truly desire, even when it comes to love. But no matter what you choose, you need to believe today that you deserve love. You deserve to be celebrated. You deserve to be happy. And anybody at any point that's trying to stop you um, from being that, you definitely may want to consider letting them go because that is not what spirit wants for you. Spirit does not want you to be sad and depressed and um, held down and to be restricted. You are born a Leo for a reason. You were born to shine. You were born to be bold and beautiful and full of charismatic energy. Like that's who you are. So if you're with a person or if you're dating a person that's trying to stifle your energy, you may want to consider um, maybe counseling. Again, that wise counsel card did come out earlier. Remember that wise counsel card is here. It did come out for a reason. Some of you could be engaged, thinking about getting married. Some of you could just be simply dating, thinking about getting engaged. Some of you could be married, thinking about a divorce. I mean, it is what it is. Or just simply... Maybe you guys just have been going through things within your relationship, and it's not like you're trying to leave. You just want the bullshit to stop, right? I get that. I get that, too. But the thing here is that it starts with ourselves, okay? Try not to be too controlling. When we um, risk, when we um, resist the need to let go, we mess up the universal flow because the, the idea here is to elevate. The idea here is to change. The universe is constantly changing roles and moving things around. It's, the energy is constantly shifting. And if we're constantly resisting the pain and resisting, um, you know, the, how can I say it? Like the turmoil, you know? If we're constantly resisting, we can't grow. You know, every relationship have issues, okay? Every relationship have its problems. Every relationship have disagreements. It doesn't have it doesn't mean that it has to be toxic and you're you beating on her or him beating on you. Uh you know, it doesn't have to be that way. So it's more of just again to me i feel like there's just a need for balance you know getting back to you finding out what really makes you happy doing what make you happy because at the end of the day you can't stop being who you are um because of somebody else however if you really if this person is really truly the one for you and you really truly truly want to be with this person obviously something need to change and you my love have to take our time to find out what that is and why you are holding on so tightly to this habit or why this person is holding on so tightly to their habit the thing here is to spiritually evolve together and if you guys can find a common ground in a way to evolve Evolve together, then of course, I think you guys will be just fine. Okay. Now, for a lot of you, what if you like, oh, my situation is more about work? The rules still apply. Even if this is a job, the same things apply. You could be harboring resentment towards your old manager, towards your company for not promoting you a year ago when you felt like you just deserved it. But let me be clear. I do see the three of pinnacles. And let me tell you something, honey. I do believe that something very fun, um, very fundamental is going to find you into. Is that even a word? <laughs> fundamental and I said it twice too I said it with total confidence sorry about that something very fundamental is going to happen for you within your career so again this can be something creative that you do or this is actually going to be a new job a new offer some of you could be thinking about leaving a company but you didn't want to leave until you found something better you may have applied for a position um, that did not come through right when you applied and all of a sudden you get a phone call this month telling you, hey, I liked your resume. I think you're a great candidate. Come on in. You know, we want to bring you on board, that type of thing. And suddenly you decide, hey, this is the time I'm going to let the job go, right? Some of you really could be thinking about relocating. I just feel a sense of newness for you, okay? Um, now, the first week 
of November, we had that lunar eclipse in Taurus, and that's going to definitely make you feel like you want more stability in your life, but you also want to have balance. You want fun. You want freedom. You want to be with your family, and the best way to do that is to um, rid yourself of anything that's holding you back, okay? Um, The next thing here is like I said, going towards the end of November, things are going to start to shift. You will feel the energy shifting, okay? You will feel uh, the changes within your friendships. You will feel the changes just within your own energy. You will feel it, Um, and you will want to do better, and you will do better, okay? Um, There's something else that I wanted to share with you, and I'm trying to think. Um, Also, for those of you that are, because like I said, I do see this whole new career thing here, all right? And I do feel like you're going to be paid very well, for very tremendously well. Let me just say that, tremendously well. You're going to get paid for something that you are very creative at. Um, those of you who desire to move closer to family, you can do that as well. The odds are in your favor, Okay. Now listen, the month of December, the end of December, right? Usually everybody start planning their New Year's resolution, all that stuff. Let me just encourage you before I go. I think it's very important that you do everything now. That new project, that new business, apply for that new job, apply for that new home. If you got denied before, reapply. I guarantee you the the results are going to highlight in your favor, okay? I guarantee you this. Um, Just because I know that the energy is prominent now. So you will feel different and you're a lot more positive mid-November. So you're going to be putting out positive energy. Therefore, it's going to flow right back to you seven times fold. Do not wait until the end of December to plan your New Year's resolution or to start a new business or a new project. A lot of people get motivated for some odd reason during the winter solistics. Like everybody get all excited. Everybody got new plans, new goals. I'm going to the gym. I'm starting my new business. I'm starting my new book, blah, blah, blah. Don't wait until the end of the year to do that. Okay. Do it now. Start the process now. Do your research now. Network now. Go to those seminars now. Do not wait because the theme here is Mercury will retrograde, okay, in the end of the month, in December, going into early January. So that the interesting thing is the same exact week, we have a new moon in Capricorn, okay? And I'm telling you now, you will feel so motivated and inspired, but the problem is that Mercury retrograde get started. But why I would rather be prepared and had started than to wait when the energy is not that good to start something and it fails. You get what I'm saying? So for me, I'm going to give you the same advice I gave to myself. Why are you waiting? Get started now, right? Do not wait to the end of the year to do this. Mercury retrograde involves like bad contracts, um, things being explosive, miscommunication. So you may miss a piece of important mail in the mailbox. You may miss a text message. You may send an email when it goes to the wrong person. Um, Mercury rules our communication. It rules technology, that type of stuff. And when it's retrograde, it can definitely take a back seat when especially when it comes to our finances. So check out what, if you guys look into your birth chart, I will also recommend you because Capricorn is the 10th house, okay? Check your 10th house. See what uh, sign is in your 10th house, okay? You will know how to maneuver during that retrograde. And the reason why I bring that all up is because you need to get busy now. I'm telling you now that here's your warning. Here's your confirmation from the universe. Do not wait. Get started now, okay? You will thank me later, um, and I'm super excited to see what the universe is going to do for you once Mercury goes direct mid-January. You will see the changes. You will feel the changes, and you will be so glad that you took initiative and did not procrastinate. You're going to be so proud of yourself that you got started right away, Okay, so I thank you. I love you guys. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, comments below. Everything is in the description for you to know. And again, guys, check out your birth chart so you can get clarity because this is a general reading. So I thank you. I love you. And again, I'll see you. See you later. Bye-bye.